Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are measuring pressure. Today we are going to talk about a liquid column gauge. It's more historical, but however, it's still in use sometimes and still mm, sometimes very useful. Huh? Let's call it. So, how is it working? Usually you have a U-shaped glass. Huh? You have a U-shaped glass thing. Huh? And this glass thing is filled with liquid. This is why it's called liquid column. So this is a U-shaped glass. We have one one side. We have a pressure P1. On the second side we have a pressure P2 applied yeah? and in here we have liquid. Okay? So here we have liquid. And what we can observe, if the pressures are different, that we have here. A difference in height of this liquid. Alright? So what is this difference in height indicating? Well, you know, the hydrostatic pressure The density of the liquid, yeah. earth acceleration, and the height. So this is actually this here. Is the hydrostatic pressure? Yeah. The hydrostatic pressure of this liquid column is exactly balancing the pressure difference yeah, between between those two. So this is this is actually delta P yeah, and this is P1 minus P2. Okay? That's it. Yeah? Depending on the density of, of the liquid. Yeah? So here for instance water 1 kilogram by cubic decimeter yeah, or mercury this is 13.55 kilogram per cubic decimeters this is why usually mercury was used you know because then we would need not that high columns uh, this is why this Evangelista Rotoricelli used mercury uh, to measure pressure. And if we close this here, uh, for instance, vacuum P2 equals zero, measure absolute pressure. If P2, if it's open, just open, P2 equals ambient pressure, uh, measure excessive pressure. Uh, and if it's just another pressure, uh, we measure differential pressure. Okay. 
Sometimes those liquid column gauges are used to indicate um, flow, right? So there's a so-called winter Kennedy measurement where you have a big turbine, a huge turbine, and you have the spiral case in this turbine where the, washer, where the water is running in. And since the water has a moment of inertia, so there is a centrifugal force of the water, so the water pressure on the outside of this radius yeah, is higher than on the inside. And you can plug in there a U-shaped thing and you see the difference in pressure on the outside and on the inside. Yeah, and from this difference in pressure, you can determine the speed of the water. Winter Kennedy flow measurement based on this liquid column gauge. Okay. This is actually how this is working. Yeah? So compensate the pressure difference with the hydrostatic pressure of liquid. Yeah? And if this is vacuum, then you could measure also ambient pressure. Yeah, the absolute pressure. All right, so in technical applications, this is not often used anymore. Yeah? There are other elements yeah, which are usually using some elastic elastic element. Yeah? How those are working, I will explain in next video. For this time, Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.